Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, guess what? Yeah. We are back with newlyweds Candace and Chris of Bravo's Real Housewives of Potomac. Girls. Yeah, and yeah. they are here because they say the couple who cooks together stays together. So they're going to be joining me in the kitchen to show me one of their favorite recipes, and it is a dessert. Candace yes. and Chris, welcome Thank to the kitchen. You. Thank, Thank you. you for having so me. So, what are we making today? It is a spiced rum and amaretto bread pudding. Ooh, uh -huh. so you yeah. like a little alcohol, don't you, Chris? I, I, well, yes. so <laughs> a lot. The, the cookbook lot. I'm working on is actually called Cooking with Spirit. I is think it? I think that's what it's going to be called. Mm -hmm. But I, I like to put alcohol in just probably about everything. everything. Yes. So, so who does the cooking in the house? Be honest, Candace. Oh, I, I will gladly, openly say it's Chris. It is. One of the contentions of our marriage was he had to cook for me and feed me every day to oh. marry me. So, All right, girl, that. You, girl, did you set the rules early She on? did, I very, very much so. Very yes. early I have to on. eat, and he has to do the feeding, yes, All yes. Right. Um, All right, what's, so. your, what's the trade-out? I just get to stand there and be cute. That's not well, the trade-out. That's, that's, that's not the trade-out. <laughs> that's not the trade-out. Uh, no, no, there's a better woman than that. All right, uh, then, well, it is right. a daytime taping. Right. But we're gonna go right. ahead and make this bread pudding. I see we have some bread here. Give me a little bit about the, what's in the recipe, the ingredients. Absolutely. Um, so. Start with the bread. I usually cut that up the night before. Want to get a little crust on it, just mm -hmm. because if it, the bread is fresh and soft, that liquid is just going to soak it all up and mm -hmm. it's going to be mush. But it, it's a very simple recipe. You got heavy cream, uh, eggs, butter, sugar. I use a mix of brown and white sugar. Okay. Uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of orange zest, salt, and then some uh, rum and amaretto so soaked. Should we go raisins. ahead and get started? Yeah, go for now it. you know I get my my, my well, hands dirty that, in the kitchen. That's fine, but you want to hold off on that. All first, right, well, the, first the milk is going to go in. Okay, you're going to go right, with the milk? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right in there. Just going to pour that right in. We're going to dump these eggs in. Okay, sounds good. And if good. you want to start whisking that, that would be problem. great. I'll yeah. start throwing everything else in here. Okay. Butter. Now, Chris, they tell me you have a restaurant. I do. And how'd you get into that business? Um, I've been in restaurants for 25 years now. Uh-huh. Um, and a former uh, em employer of mine came to me with uh, wanting to be in the restaurant group. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I said, absolutely. I run day-to-day -day operations, but part owner as well. So we just All put right. in some cinnamon after the butter. All right. A little bit of nutmeg. Okay. We're going to add this salt. Okay. Get, we'll get it out of there. Yes. Orange zest. So do you ever really help him cook Candace in the kitchen? Do you work together? <laughs> so here's the thing. Chris, Chris is what I call a bougie chef. He don't like no help. So Ooh. if I come in and I ask questions, I appreciate questions, your help. Well, because I'm your, no, your help is fine. So he's I mean, yeah, right. he's just no problem with what I'm doing. Look. When I come in, he likes me to be sous chef sometimes. Okay. For the most part, in the beginning, I would be like, so babe, Brown, what are you cooking? What's this? What's that? And he's like, let me do it. I got this. I got it. But but now he kind of is starting to open up to it because of the cookbook. I think he understands yeah. that you need to have the recipes written down. What recipes like are going to be in the cookbook? Yes. There's, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Yes. Raisins. All right. And what's your cooking oh, style? Cool. I'm classically French trained, mm. um, but I, I like to cook everything. Okay. You love Asian style. I, I do Asian, Latin foods, yeah. um, barbecue, obviously. All right, we got that all mixed all right. up, so what's now next? Now the bread can go in there. Okay. We're we just going to toss it all in? We can, you know what? Let's put it in this one. All right. Sounds it's good to me. It's a little bit me. deeper. And then easy. that way we'll pour it over the top. Exactly. You see what I'm doing, Candice? I'm, yes. <laughs> but you you, you, you got to take over. This is why, because I get over. pushed out. This is what yes. happens. I get oh, pushed oh, out. Oh, you get pushed out? No, it's okay. What happens, Candice wants to cook, but then halfway through it, she gets on the Snapchat and the Instagram, and then we we'll have I'm to document over. the well, that's process. When you, that's when yes. you pick up. You pick up where she left off, and you work together. You said that a couple that cooks together, they stay together. Even if I'm just in the kitchen. That's what we want. Just have moral right. support. All I'm just right. gonna give this a quick yeah. little Yeah. Mix and then if we can spread here. that around, that'll be That's real right. good. Make sure every piece gets um a raisin. Ready. Right. And it's gotta you wanna let this sit a little while mm -hmm. before Soak. it goes in the oven. Okay. So it soaks up all of that uh, mm. So at what point do we put the cream belay on it? That's actually a creme anglaise sauce that's gonna go on afterwards. Ooh, so I'm gonna yes. pull the other one. We'll put this in the oven, 350 degrees, 30 minutes or okay, so. 30 minutes? 45 minutes until it's set. And then, boom, it because we like to come so, prepared. so, so good. We've got one ready to go for you all. So, uh, Candace, do you ever get in the kitchen with Chris and say, you know what I want today? I want some collard greens <laughs> and some mac and cheese. <laughs> Do you, well, do you bring the African-American style to the have, kitchen? So the, at the restaurant, hey, they have the collard greens, favorite. the mac and cheese, okay. the barbecue chicken, mm. the ribs. So I just say, bring that to the house. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. And when mom comes, she likes that stuff. Too. It smells yeah. amazing yeah. in here. What is happening? I walked it up. That is my job. They have a nice bread oh, nice. pudding here. Oh, my goodness. And then once she plates it, she's going to make sure that she puts the cream on top to garnish that. It's going to be a little messy. It looks amazing. That's OK. 
My goodness. It's an ooey gooey. Ooh, it's not supposed to be. Ooh, that's a little amazing. amazing. Oh, I'm yeah. over to you. I want to taste that. May I have that? a fork, please, for Selena, please? Yes, here we go. Thank this you. This is very unauthorized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, participate. It's on nobody's Listen, diet. But, I am sure but, but that happy this diet. is amazing. That's, that's Chris, I want to thank you so oh, much for coming out for to the server as well as Candace. Listen, if you want to see more of this fantastic fabulous newlywed couple. You want to watch Potomac every yes. Sunday on this Bravo. Is so good.